today we are going to work on butt strength. So, uh, in all seriousness, we're going to work on some glute activation. This is a great way to just kind of warm them up before any sort of movement. Also pairs very well with doing the safeness nerve glide. So if you haven't checked out that video, maybe take a look. See if it's something that would benefit you. So, getting set up, we're going to have you lay on your side. Kind of support your head like as if you're in fetal position. But bottom leg is going to be at 90 degrees at the hip, knee, and ankle. So uh, triple flexion there. The top leg, you're going to turn your toe down towards the ground. Uh, you can place your hand on your butt if you want. You don't have to. Um, and if you're going to, think about like dead center in the glute that you're poking. So if there was a target, you're at bullseye. So from here, abs are going to be nice and engaged and you're going to bring your heel back, squeeze your butt, so kind of like flex your way back and then bring it back down. Squeeze back, hold it for a second and then back down. So there's no set number you have to do of these, but if you start to feel your lower back kind of taking over, stop. That means that your TVA is doing too much and that means you either need more core activation or the vessels in your butt are tired. So again, go by what you feel and doesn't have to be a big movement. We're going at a diagonal angle, so my foot is starting in front of my bent leg and kind of coming back behind my hip. Um, everyone's is going to be a little bit different, and especially if you're starting and are new to these, you might be surprised at how hard they are. The first time I did them after my knee surgery, I could do three, and I felt like I had run a marathon. I'm assuming. Never run a marathon. But still, super tired. So be patient with yourself, work on it, and you're not going to get better unless you do them. So. Stay positive, do your best, and I'll see you soon. Bye.